Okay. Hi everyone. So in this session, we are going to learn how to create .NET Core API, API project by using the .NET 6 and Visual Studio uh, 2022. Okay. So I'm just going to open the Visual Studio ID. Okay, so here, if you go to the create new project. Okay, so same, uh, we can create the console application from this window. You can just search for console app. It will provide these templates. You can choose the template, click on next, next, finish. You can just create the console application. Now, this time I just wanted to create the web API project. So for that, you can use dotnet core web application model view controller okay i wanted to create the web apis in model view controller format so you just have to select asp.net core web app model view controller okay if it is not available here because it is in my recent project template you can just find the same template here okay find it dotnet core web app you will find the template choose that click on the next button Okay, now just provide the path. So I wanted to create the .NET Core application on this path and API project name should be, let's say library, library web APIs. Okay, click on the next. Okay, here you can choose the framework, whether it is six or whether it is seven. Okay, and click on the create button. It can be 3.1 also. If you have installed that, it will available here and you can just choose it. Okay, now uh, if you see here in the Visual Studio, here we are having a solution explorer. Okay, so this is the main window where you can see what is the folder structure of your application, what are our files available, in which file you want to create, uh, write the source code or program, all these things you can just choose from here. Okay, it is very important window. Okay, if anyone asks you to open the op solution explorer, make sure to go to this window only. Okay, so this is the default folder structure created by uh, template project. Here you can see controllers, models, and views. There are three different folders available. What is controller? Controllers are nothing but uh, it will help you to handle request and response of your application. Okay, in the controller, you will have the web API's endpoint. Okay, from the web API, it will give a call to the models, it will give a call to the views. Oh, is it MVC application I have created? Sorry, let me just close it. I want to create Wave API project, not MVC. Give me a minute. Yeah, choose this template, .NET Core Web API, not Web App, okay? Click on Next. Let me delete the old one. Okay. Now, if you see the solution explorer, you will have the controllers only, no models and no views. Okay, so this is right application now. So in controller, we will have the actual endpoints. So endpoint means the web API. Okay, so inside this is this can be web service. The whole project is a web service. 
inside this web service, we can have the web APIs. And for writing the web APIs, we will require the controllers. Okay, so this is actual entry point to your endpoint. You will have one app setting.json file. This is configuration file. Inside the app setting.json file, we can add the configurable variable. Meaning, so if you want to change some values, some secret keys after deploying your application or as per your environment, that you can make it configurable inside the app setting.json file. For example, uh, you are having one you are having one database connection string. Okay. Currently, you are connecting to your local database. And if you want to host your application, you want to connect with the production database. So that connection string you can just put into this file. So that way you can change it anytime. Okay. Any value you want to change it later, that can be a, your configurable value. And that configurable value you can keep into the app setting.json file. Next one is program.cs. Okay. So program.cs is nothing but your entry point method, entry point class. Okay. So it will basically help you to enter into your application. Okay. Once you enter into your application, these are the things your application can do. Okay. It will add the dependency for controllers. It will add the swagger gen tool. It will add builder.build. Okay. It will help you to run the swagger UI. Okay, add the authorization, HTTPS redirection, map controllers, run controller. So all these things are required as a base application. Okay, now I wanted to create some APIs. So in order to create the APIs, we need to, let's say, create one controller. Okay, let's say I wanted to create one controller like book controller. Okay. What is book? Why book controller? Because this application is library, right? Web APIs. So for library, we can have entities like book, author, okay, or too many others. So let's create book controller. It will help you to create the book, get the, get all books, save book, then get book by ID, get book by authors, okay, delete book, update book. So these many APIs we can just create here. Inside the library, there is a book controller. Inside the book controller, we can create the web API. Okay. Now, let's say uh, in order to create the book APIs, I need to first of all rename the constructor as well as well as class name. Okay. This I don't want. When you will create a new application. By default, you will get this controller weather forecast. We don't require that. Just delete it. Okay. I just want my own controller where I will have some web APIs. Okay. So here also I require to add book controller name, book controller name. And this is the web API. So let's create one endpoint. If I call get books, it should return me list of books. Okay, so this is how this uh, this is the endpoint I wanted to create. So you can see HTTP get annotation is there. Get means we can use the HTTP get when you want to retrieve something from the server. You want to get something from the server. Okay, and you don't want to pass any payload or large payload to the server. In that case, you can use HTTP get. Okay, so my endpoint name is get all books okay so this is the endpoint name now i wanted to retrieve the books but for returning the books i should i should have some book model or something okay but that we will create later now i just wanted to write the simple api which will return me the list of books in a form of string okay so book one comma book two comma book three like this. I just wanted to return to the server to the UI or client. You can just create one array like list of string books is equal to new list of string. Okay. And here for time being, I'm just going to add some book names like book one comma 
book two comma book three okay so i have one list of books i just wanted to return that so i will do return books that's it okay so this is how we can just create our first web api by using the dotnet core application what i did i have just created one web api project inside that i have created one book controller inside the book controller i have just renamed uh, the constructor this dependency for ilogger and then i have just created one endpoint that is get all books and that we can just write here okay if i rename the action method with some custom name in that case you will have to add a uh, square bracket action in the route attribute why we require to add that because this is no longer rest rest api now okay this is like rest api has the ability to identify endpoints by their annotations like http get post put patch delete but i wanted to give some custom name to my methods no gate no post it is gate all books save book okay gate book by id like that so if you want to provide the custom name to your endpoints then you can just mention forward slash action here okay so run this project you will get one endpoint that is get all books and then if you call that endpoint it will return the list of books okay let's see how to run that project just click on the http button here okay so if you run this project it will open the swagger ui what is swagger swagger will provide you one ui which will help you to see what are all endpoints available in your project and by using the swagger ui you can just call those endpoints okay so let me share that screen as well you can see uh, with that this one okay you can see uh, i just run my project and here library web api project got created this is the version and this is the json file so this json file is nothing but your open api specification okay so this open api specification will tell you what is the path of your api what is the parameters and what can be the response of your api so this is the open api specification if you want to see this specification in ui form format so this is the ui okay so this is the library web apis where get all books api is now created the type of this api is get and if i run this api you can run this api by using the try it out button okay just click on this button click on execute you will see the output here this is your output book one book two book three okay so this is your first web api in dotnet core okay so let me check the syllabus yeah we got the introduction we have created a simple asp.net core web application and we got the understanding about the project structure and now we have created one sample api also okay let me stop the recording